All right, we have the clock and we're rolling. Okay. And can you please introduce yourself? And I'm the ELL teacher at Northampton High School. Cool. And you have freshmen this year? How many freshmen do you think you have in total? I think I have uh, five freshmen, but then about four that are former English language learners that I'm still considering, like, So yeah. a total of nine. Okay. And what do you like about teaching freshmen? I like introducing them to the building, but unfortunately we can't do that. But I like um, showing them my style of teaching, which is probably different from what they had at the middle school, introducing them to new ideas, um, opening them up to all the opportunities at the high school as far as after school club goes, um, different uh, avenues of education they can pursue, different programs within the school, like the tech program. And, and um, I also really like taking them on field trips, but we can't do that this year. Yeah, but the clubs will be running, so that's good yeah. news. So yeah. we'll have that, and, you know, hopefully at some point in the year, we might be able to get back in there. We'll see. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to know. That would um, be good. What's um, one thing you're excited about teaching remotely this year? I think I'm just excited to see the students' faces because yeah. I got to do a little remote teaching over the summer. So I kind of broke myself into it. And it actually was really nice and had really good contact with some students in the community. So I just want to see their faces. Yeah, absolutely. Get to know them. Absolutely. Yeah. And what do you like about teaching freshmen like that age? I like um, sort of helping bolster their self-confidence and getting them to get more out into the world and showing who they are. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's the age. That's the age to enter the world, to be sure. Yeah. Uh, what about a piece of advice you might have for your freshmen this year? I would, remotely? Yeah, I would say um, even though you're learning remotely, still trying to stay connected with your teachers because we're all here to support you and we will go above and beyond to support you and reach out to you. So don't be afraid to ask us for help in any area at all. And then also um, just really try and explore the high school opportunities, you know, really look into the classes that are offered as well as the after school activities. Yeah, we have so many cool avenues open at the high school. So yeah. um, what were you like as a freshman? Oh my gosh, I was definitely shy. Um, I had a certain style. I was into a certain kind of music, um, mostly wore black. Um, mm -hmm. So I was into like the punk scene. And I, um, I had my core group of friends, but I did do, even though I was into that, I was still into track. I did a full year of track and I was really into it. I ended up winning awards later on in the years and um, I enjoyed it. It was definitely a lot better than middle school. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can, we can definitely vouch for that. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And did you have any standout moment this summer? Oh gosh, I think going on my um, brother-in-law's boat in the harbor on Nantucket. That was pretty amazing. Oh, cool. Yeah, you were yeah. down in Nantucket. Excellent. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that was awesome. Well, guys, if you're lucky enough to have Miss Sullivan, she'll be waiting for you shortly. Great. Thank you so much. Absolutely.